Hey, 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 this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Thursday morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to February. Today is February 1st. This will probably drop on the old YouTube channel towards the end of, uh, of February because I do want to drop my the uh, video that I did uh, yesterday. And if you didn't see it, go back on my archives. I, I addressed one lake and today I'm going to address another lake uh, in the conference where I'm in. And um, that will drop first. And then I'm going to definitely drop a, a college uh, summer program. Uh, I think I would do Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon if my brain serves me right. Because I actually got that in the mail. So I definitely want to uh, address that because, uh, hey, you know, it's that time of the year. February is that time of the year to definitely look into summer programs. But uh, this will air after those two videos drop. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen the summer program one, go back on my archives and you'll see it. Uh, that was uh, the previous week. And today I'm addressing another lake here in this. Uh, it's actually a retreat ground up in, uh, in upstate Florida. And uh, there's privilege to have the bigger lake and now this smaller lake. And I wanted to point out a couple things uh, because it's important because when you're setting up your freshwater aquarium, you definitely want to try to mimic what you see in, in, uh, in, um, in nature. And also remember what I told you uh, right now, it is uh, right now it's probably somewhere between 45 and 50 Fahrenheit. So it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. And uh, so I got the sweatshirt on and the hat on. And um, I just wanted you to see a couple things because these are things that you should mimic in your freshwater aquarium. First thing is quite obvious. The obvious is always obvious right there is the sun it is rising in the east. And it's important to see how it is that, that it, it kind of glimmers in the light here. Now, you say in the, on, the, on the water, you say, why is that important? Because always, as I mentioned last night, and, uh, and in this case, it would be two weeks ago, um, you may want to be careful how much sunlight your, your tanks get, whether it be sun um, or whether it be your LED lights, because uh, it is an enclosed uh, area. And so what will happen is you will get increased algae. So you may want to be very careful on, on that light situation and uh, kind of really pay attention to it. The other thing I really wanted to, to, to notice is, I'm going to try to blow it up here, is this. This is, a, and when I was driving in, uh, this is something that really caught my eye. And I don't think I caught it. This is the third year that we're here. And I'll tell you, it never really caught my eye was this. And you say, well, what is that? It's in essence, as you see over here, there's, there's sort of like the, the water pump. And that pump, that pump right there, that white, white pipe kind of goes right there. And it creates almost like a filter system. But how so? Because the water is being drawn up and is being drawn back out and spitting out water as you can see right there it's kind of spitting out the water now that's causing creating two things is one is creating some a ripple effect you see the ripples here and that definitely keeps the water keeps the water fresh keeps it moving stagnant water is like the worst thing for for your fish tank you definitely want to keep that water moving get the oxygen moving and you'll see also if you look even carefully as my hand stays real steady you see that white right around there it's almost like a white circle those are, that's, that's oxygen. Those are, that's like almost if you, you splash the water, it creates little bubbles. And those bubbles are oxygen. And they, are, they oxygenate the water for the, for the organisms that are, that are living here in this lake. You see, this lake is not as, as big. But I wanted to show it to you here that uh, that really is. And again, that's, and before I forget, that's the reason why I have, since I have a lot of fish in my 75-gallon tank, my bubbler, my, my oxygen there, it kind of creates a ripple effect aside from the filter and it provides oxygen for my fish. And so I really wanted to show that to you. Very, very authentic that, hey, you know, the, the water does need oxygen and it does need a filter. This acts as a filter. Uh, and so I wanted to show that to you. Number two, number three, I should say, or I mentioned the sun, I mentioned the filter slash oxygen. The other thing I really wanted to mention to you was this. I know um, if you look at Dustin's uh, fish tanks, which I highly suggest that you do, that's where I get my, you know, a, you know, all, all my kind of like silly craziness from, is um, and his style, is that you notice here that is that is dirty. It's literally dirt. And I got to keep it blown up. You see, it's dirt. You say, well, why are you showing that? Because people, you may want to have a dirted tank. You may want to actually not from here. But from, from your local uh, pet store, they will sell dirt. They will also sell substrate, some type of gravelly, rocky 
type of thing. And you can almost see the algae there. You see the algae. Um, you can, so this is something that you may want to consider for your tank. Now, why? Because on this, on these, uh, on this dirt, and I'm glad I'm leaving it blown up on this dirt, you will get something called bacteria. And that bacteria is something that the fish need to thrive on in order to, to make them feel at home, the bacteria and the same thing. And that's, and that's really important. So let me, let me blow it back out blow it back out and I blow it back out I think I did oh I blew it back up sorry my bad blow it back out uh, there we go uh, they so you see here the the dirty tank is that and substrate and I used to and if you look back way way back in my archives I was like no no they don't have it you don't have a substrate that's kind of ridiculous substrate is critically essential for that one reason one reason alone is to create bacteria in the water now, same thing that happened last night or two weeks ago, if you're watching this, this video, two weeks ago, I mentioned the same thing. I mentioned, well, where are the fish? There are fish in here. But remember, it's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So that's a little chilly. Uh, so they are probably right there in the middle of that lake as far down as you can go in order to keep warm. And again, this is a subtropical climate. So that is where they are or else... If it was sort of breeding season, like uh, the end of next month of March or the beginning of April, you would see both uh, little fish right here, right at the shoreline, and you would also see tadpoles. So that that's something, and I'll show that to you in, in my home lake as well. So I'm just showing you that because I want you to think, to realize that what fish do when it is chilly out. And my last kind of two things, that last thing really that I really wanted to mention was to show you here plants. You'll see plants kind of growing out of it. You'll see plants growing in it. You'll see this is similar to a to a Java moss. Similar there, you see like this grassy uh, stuff here. You'll see also, you see with the grassy stuff, I don't know if you can quite see it. You'll see, even though it's chilly out, you'll see like little, they'll see uh, spider webs. You will see little fl uh, flies. You see a fly just go by. Uh, well, why is that? That creates food for the fish. And so that's why these, these plants are critically important for this whole ecosystem. And you'll see here, also very similar. These are, this is also, I have this growing in my, um, what do you call that? In my nano tank, uh, the Rotala Indica. This is, the, this, is, this is authentic Rotala Indica right here. So this, I actually have this plant. So again, like I had the Java, Java, um, Adios mio, the jungle valve that I showed you yesterday. Here is the Rotala Indica. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it because this is very authentic. <laughs> and so I wanted to show you that it is really important to have, to have live plants because in real life, fish live with live plants. And so I just wanted to show that to you because that is why, if it was like, why are you gonna have live plants? So you know what, because, because that's what it is in nature. And so you wanna create your fish tank as authentic as possible so as i know i got a little excited with the rotala and dika but <laughs> but but i want it to be as authentic as possible because i want you to realize why i do what i do because to my fish tanks you know you just don't create fish tanks say hey here's a fish tank here here's a, here's a bright orange plant no man this is 2024 you, you gotta you gotta you gotta be authentic you gotta have live plants you gotta have a filter. You gotta have a, a, some type of oxygen going. You need to be careful with your light. You need to have LED lights, which we have to talk about. You should have some type of substrate. These are all real things that you see right here in this little lake. Uh, so I, I, that's why I, it's really important. I, I emphasize it over and over and over again to look at nature, see what you got, and, and to, uh, to replicate it in your, in your aquarium. This is Louis D. Fresh.